Hey friends, welcome back to Krusty Cranks. All right, uh, today we're going to do my request. I've had a couple people have asked me about this, so I thought I'd go ahead and do it since I need a few more for this weekend's event coming up. Um, and I've sold sold a few of these. So uh, this is the coffee bean crawl, and um, we're going to use four colors today. We're going to use okra. And we're going to use Coffee Brown from U.S. Art Supply Airbrush Colors. Then we're going to use Coffee Bre coffee Bean, hence the name, Coffee Bean Crawl. And then we're going to come on top of that with a little bit of texture. And we're going to use Detail Sepia. Now, a um, couple alternatives for colors you could use for this. Um, sometimes I know you guys don't all have the same paint as me but uh, I like to give you some some options um, so for the okra um, Wicked has a brand or a color it's called detail yellow okra I think I'm saying that right um, but it's a little more on the red side it's kind of in between uh, kind of a yellowy red um, so I'm not using that because I want to do exactly what I painted the base that I sold. So that's but that's an option for you if you don't have the US art supply okra. Um for the coffee brown, you could possibly use detail burnt umber. So that's an option. Um and then for the coffee bean, you could actually use oops, sorry. You could actually use um Probably this dark brown. Just thin it down just a little bit so it's not so dark. And then um, detail sepia. Everybody should have sepia in their paint arsenal. Um, it's just a it's just a really good detail type color. It's not a black and it's not a dark brown. Um, it's kind of in between a dark brown and a and a, um, a dark reddish brown I guess you'd say um, so but anyway there's some options um, so that's the colors we're going to use today on this bait um, let me get the brush loaded up and um, we'll spray our first color okay got the brush loaded up um, while I was painting the while I'm getting ready to paint these I'm gonna go ahead and coat the whole thing and um, you could probably, another option for this would be um, the transparent sand and then just add some yellow to it, get it to where you're kind of like a yellowy, a yellowy tan color. That would be an option you could use for this. But I really like this US Art Supply Ochre. I'm going to go ahead and coat the whole bait with that, both baits. Because the other colors are pretty complementary, so they're going to, they're going to blend right in. I'm just going light. I don't need to get it real dark because I this is pretty much going to be the belly color anyway. A lot of people hate on the U.S. Art Supply paints, but I mean, I just like a lot of their colors. Sorry if I'm getting out of camera there. I like a lot of their colors. I've used them on baits that I've sold, so sometimes you don't want to 
use something you haven't used on a, on a bait that you sold and people are expecting it to be that color I apologize let me raise this camera up a little bit I don't keep getting out of the camera but uh, yeah so you know give them a try I mean you can buy a large set of different colors for kind of cheap but they spray nice you don't have to really I don't really have to reduce them down too much um, in fact I usually don't reduce them because they're kind of th kind of thin they spray nice all right um, and I'm trying to keep from bringing the hair dryer on but I usually heat set every color so if you don't see me heat set it, I probably did it off camera. So let me get the heat set on these. Get this brush wiped out a little bit. Nice thing about the colors I'm using is you don't really have to worry about being too clean with your brush. Just get your most of your paint out of there and you can move right on. Okay, next color we got is coffee. So we're going to kind of just hint that a little bit with this color. It's not a lot of this color on the bait. But it's kind of a good complementary color to get, get a good blend with. If you watch some of my videos... Some of my other videos I talked about using blends, complementary colors to blend. And this is one way to really get some nice graduations is working with colors that that complement each other. And sometimes they're just subtle. But man, once you put that epoxy on them, you can really see the difference as they come out the other thing that helps is not hold your brush too close when you want to get nice blends I know it's hard to see probably on camera but if you can see that little bit of blend going in I'll go down just a little more And just leave the belly the ochre color let's get this other one oh Okay, get this back just a little bit more. It's gonna be darker on top anyway, but come down just a little bit more on this one. There we go. A little bit more on this side. Okay, we'll clean this coffee out and get to the next color. 
Okay, next color we're going to use is this apple barrel coffee bean. And, um, you know, if you've sprayed these, coffee, these um, apple barrel paints before, you have to really reduce them down. A lot of guys use water. That's fine. Um, I've found that uh, I think the reducer um, just works a little better. I know a lot of people are on a budget, so use what works for you. Just the main thing is get it thin. The stuff sprays okay when it's thin, but if you don't get it thin enough, you're gonna have flakes and clogs. So I use 4011. And really, it's about 50-50. You do about 50%. And if you get it too thin, you can always put another little drop in there. And it'll thicken right back up. But if you go about 50-50, it works pretty good. Triggers are starting to stick a little bit. It's time for a good cleaning. Same thing, we're just going light, we're just building that coffee bean color and we're not going all the way down. We're kind of keeping, keeping all three colors showing so far. Just let it fall down the side of the bait a little bit. Oh, this trigger's sticking bad. So hopefully you can see that on video there. We got three different graduations. Of the three different colors. Let's get these tips a little bit. Come down just a little bit more on this one. And I'm even getting a little splatter, but that's okay for a girl. All right, clean that up, dry these baits, and we'll get on to our last color and stencil. Okay. Let's get the last color on here. I'm using Detail Sepia, right? And um, kind of like the previous crawl, I put the sisal wrap on and I'm um, going to spray this lightly through there just to get a little texture on my crawl. 
I think this gives a really nice little crawl pattern. And then uh, I probably I'll, I'll only finish up one of them on camera, so you don't have to watch all the watch me rewrap this one, the other one, and and that kind of stuff. So but I really just want to put a little light base on here through the wrap. I don't want to go all the way down because I'm going to go down a little bit, but I'm not going to go really dark because I'm going to have my stencil on there. And this sepia, it'll darken up pretty quick on you. So I just want a little bit of texture underneath of that stencil. I'm going to use the same color for the stencil. So the spots will darken up a little bit. And I got my spray back, my pressure back kind of low because my, for one, my trigger's sticking and I have to do a major cleaning on the old trigger and the brush. You get to paint a lot of baits and sometimes you don't get a chance to give them a good thorough cleaning. So let me know in the comments if you want to see how I clean my brushes. I'll do a video on cleaning the brushes because that's a kind of one of the necessary evils and the sepia is a little little thick um, as most detail colors are but I didn't want to thin it down because I don't want it running under my stencil too much or under my wrap too much so like I said, I'm just trying to get a little bit of a texture look on there. And then we're going to put the stencil on and we're going to use the same color for the stencil. So. And then I'll probably come back and darken the face and the back up a little bit. But let's see what that looks like so far. Sometimes it's hard to tell on your wraps. I think I want to put a little bit more down here on the bottom before I take that off. This one don't look too bad. Here I did hit it a little bit. See, I'm gonna like it. All right, so like I said, once I come over top of it again with some with the stencil and with the uh, with the back a little bit, it'll, they'll darken up a little bit, but I don't want them too dark, I just want them to show through. All right, let me get my stencil on and I'll bring you back and we'll put the crawl pattern on there, okay. Got one side on here. Let's get this sprayed in kind of dark.
Okay, let's peel that off, take a look. Nice. The stems were starting to lose a little bit of tackiness. It's about time I've probably painted about 20 baits with it so far. And you know, that's the nice thing is is I can always cut me a brand new one. No big deal. So but I think it'll do for this these two. I'm gonna wipe my tip off. this spot one more time up here okay all right starting up this back a little bit That's it. Just kind of blend that down just a little bit. the coffee bean crawl all right let me uh get the other one done and we'll put some eyes on it pick out some eyes um yeah and we'll wrap this video up okay here's the second one let's see here's the second one i didn't go as dark on the back on this one as i did on this one 
because I wanted to leave a little bit, a little bit of that texture to show on top, which I kind of like this one the best. But you know that it's they're custom baits, so no two baits are going to look the same, right? Um, so let's put the eyes on. Uh, I'm going with the same eyes of the ones that I've sold before. Apologize for the dogs. I think the Amazon guys here. Um, so let's put a little dab of liquid liquid gel Loctite here. I think I up oh, there. I thought I grabbed the empty one there for a minute. And I haven't went back to the Gorilla Group glue with the brush just because I bought two bottles of this and it's used, it's been lasting me, so. I'm gonna try to use that up first. I really like the brush stuff though. But this is kind of a gold eye that I used before. So since I sold them like this and they're on the website like this, I'm, I'll probably update the picture anyway because I like these a little better with a little more texture on them. The ones I did on the website don't have the don't have the um, sisal wrap texture on them. And after I started doing that on my crawls, I was just like, man, I just like that look. It gives them that kind of rough look. And I sold some like that. And then people really liked them, so. But, you know, when you do something and somebody likes it, it tells you something. You're doing something right, I guess. But really, you can get a lot of feedback from people when they're buying your baits, if you're out selling baits. Got some nice weather too coming so hopefully I can show you these outside tomorrow when they dry up the epoxy gets done and it's already getting dark out so I'm not going to try it tonight but definitely tomorrow when epoxy's all cured and looking good I'll take them outside and get a good outdoor view with them All right, got both eyes on them. Like I always say, look down the face and make sure your eyes don't not all whopper jawed. Make sure they're kind of pointing the same direction that you want. And uh, yeah, I'll get some epoxy on it. I'll bring it back, and we'll wrap this video up with the coffee bean crawl. Okay, friends, we're back. Here's the finished coffee bean crawl. I was going to take it outside, but the uh, weather kind of changed this morning. Uh, the epoxy wasn't completely ready to be handled last night, so um, I decided I was going to wrap it up today. So weather, obviously, here in Ohio changes daily. Um, so anyway, the colors we used today was the okra from U.S. Art Supply. Then we got uh, coffee brown. U.S. Art Supply, then we use the Apple Barrel Coffee Bean, and then we come on top of it with the uh, Detail Sepia, and we put the stencils in with Sepia as well, nice and dark, so uh, yeah, that's the colors, turned out really good, I'm real happy with it, um, so we're going to have some more videos coming up here i'm just painting a bunch of baits right now that i've already done videos on um got a big uh, outdoor show to do here in may so jamming out on baits is what i'm doing um i wanted to show you this one this one really looks cool how the uh different layers of the colors come together 
especially on this one here. You can see the differences. Um, it's got that kind of that coffee brown red in there, the art supply red. And then you got the little coffee bean color coming on top of it with the stencil. And then the sepia just adds that deep deepness to it blends the stripes in so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you try to get some of these painted and um i'll have some things coming up pretty soon i know a lot of people are asking me about stencils so um i'm working on that right now i want to make sure that uh make sure that you get a good stencil for sure um so anyway that's the finished product Appreciate you guys subscribing, hitting that like button, sharing out my videos. Channel's looking good. Going to keep on going. Keep on going, guys. So stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed, get subscribed. All right? And always remember, stay crusty, my friends. Mm -hmm.